welcome to another Math and Man Productions episode. Today we're going to take it to geometry with one of my most favorite concepts called the Pythagorean Theorem. Remember, the Pythagorean Theorem, just read above, is used only for right triangles, meaning 90 degree triangles. And it's used to find the missing link of, just read right above, of a right triangle as long as you are given the length of the other two sides. A little review, if you look to my right, if you look at the right triangle to my right, get it? Okay, that was lame. The slanted height is the hypotenuse and the other two sides are the legs. If you label them accordingly, then you get the Pythagorean theorem equation, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c stands for the hypotenuse, and a and b stands for the legs of the triangle. Let's go find out how to use this theorem by trying it out in the next two problems coming up. All right, to use the Pythagorean theorem, make sure that you can identify what's a leg and what's the hypotenuse. In this example one, the hypotenuse is missing. So we can label this as C. A and B are the legs that's given to us, three and four. So we're missing one side. That's what we're trying to find out. It doesn't matter which one you label A and B, it's gonna come out to be the same thing. So here is where my students always make a mistake. They forget to square the numbers. So I always tell them to just put parentheses with the square symbol right there. We don't know what C squared is, so we can label that C squared, and then put the numbers in. So instead of A, we can replace it with a three, and B is four replace it right there. Second step is to simplify. 3 squared, that is just 9. 4 squared, that's 16, equals c squared. And simplify even further. 9 plus 16, that's just 25, equals c squared. And the last thing, the final step, to undo a square, just square root both sides and you'll get your answer. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of c squared is c. So that missing length, or the hypotenuse, is going to equal 5. All right, this problem, for example, 2, is a little different. Just read the little hint right below. The hypotenuse is given to you, so one of the legs are missing. Think about it when you plug in the information to the Pythagorean theorem. So please, pause the video, try out the example to my left, and find that missing length by using the Pythagorean theorem. When you are finished, unpause the video, and we'll go over the answer for example number two. Here's the answer for example two. Hopefully you got it right. The missing length was one of the legs. The hypotenuse is right here, so that's my C in the equation. This can be A or B. Doesn't matter if you mixed it around, you're still gonna get the same answer. I just called it A. So my first step was to plug every information that I have into the Pythagorean theorem. A is four. B was missing, and C is 9. From here, simplify, and you get 16 plus B squared equals 81. Use your algebra skills and solve for B. First step is to subtract 16 of both sides. B squared drops down. 81 minus 16 is 65. And the very last step of the Pythagorean theorem, or to undo something squared, is to square root both sides. The square root of b squared is b, and square root of 65, I just rounded to the nearest hundredths, is 8.06. So hopefully you know how to use the Pythagorean theorem in these simple right triangle problems. And remember, you need two sides to find the missing length of the third one. 
and it has to be a 90 degree or a right triangle. Anyways, thank you for listening and please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.